Uh, what, is, what you've also seen is um, that the partners come really from different domains, and uh, this is also uh, intentional because um, the uh, cybersecurity, once again, is something where you have to look at comprehensively. So you have to look at from uh, for four different domains, from different points of views, and for me personally, cybersecurity is a set of tools, of practices, and so on that one has and then you can adapt it and apply it to different domains. Some of the domains see more attacks at the moment, others see them later. We have similar challenges, we have different challenges, and uh, in order to make the planet better, uh, slash in order to enable technology to uh, support us, it has to be secured, and therefore for us it's really important to to look at these different facets and uh, to contribute uh, to some of them uh, together with the, uh, the research community and also to, uh, to support um, the, the industry partners in uh, doing innovation and uh, looking at topics that they might not have looked at otherwise because they are really uh, far, like Yusuf said, about the, uh, the user interface. Okay, good. So, uh, um, Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much for all the uh, for all the testimonials. It was uh, impressive, and I'm uh, more than happy um, about what I heard and also about the format because I think it was really a great um, a great gathering of of uh, this information exchange. Um, in the remaining uh, few minutes of this morning, I want to um, go a little bit deeper into uh, what I said at the beginning. So, uh, if you think about okay, why to take part in at the chair. Um, this presentation now is rather for partners. In the research part in the afternoon, I have a similar thing for, uh, for students, for researchers, for postdocs. So uh, yeah, for the second one, I also invite you to, to, to join the second session. So for the industry partners, I listed down eight points uh, that we often have in the discussions uh, when I talk with new people that might be interested in joining. So the first point, of course, is extending competencies. With the chair, you can really go out of the box. You can do something um, with relatively low risk um, and look at topics and pre-look at them that you might, have, might be looking in parallel or together with us later or in parallel, as I said. So this is definitely something getting inputs and being connected to the research world because this is what we do professionally, so we look at that every day. Then the second point is access to many research opportunities because in France there are different funding schemes, so one of them is called CIFRE, which basically is you have a PhD student in your company and uh, they get uh, supported by the institution like the IP Atlantique. With us, it's different. The PhD students are with us. Therefore, they can all work together. And as they are with us, it's also not a problem that multiple companies are working together with the same student. It's even the opposite. So this is the typical case with us, that we have uh, two to three, sometimes even four industry partners that are joining the discussion for, for the same topic. And uh, this is a great thing. And this is also something um, which, for me, as a researcher, is a huge plus. Because, uh, as said at the beginning, it's really a luxury for the researcher for having uh, so many sparing partners in the research, so many opportunities to exchange, so many insights from different uh, directions. The third is, and, and this is also like when we talk money-wise, this is of course also good because uh, typically the industry partners are paying the equivalent of uh, two PhD students and uh, they have access to all PhD students, which is also of course a very, uh, very good uh, ratio. The third thing is uh, additional opportunities for joint research, which is <coughs> obvious in that sense as we are closely working together, it's of course at hand that we launch additional projects like European uh, Union funded projects and so on because with the people you're working with already it's the easiest to create something and uh, as all of our partners are highly innovative it's uh, very easy to work with them on such uh, proposals and we're also very happy that we successfully submitted quite some already in the past at the moment we have none of these projects running because if you're in the business you know that it's super difficult to get uh, selected in the end um, but still already this process is uh, very helpful also in identifying future topics that we might look at at the chair. 
And of course, recruitment option, uh, the market in cybersecurity experts is uh, very dense. And uh, the PhD students at the chair, they know already the partners, and therefore it's at hand that when they finish, uh, they uh, consider going to the industry partners. And this is also something that happened in the past and will also surely happen in the future. And this is not only the PhD students at the chair, but this is also the additional events that we do, like PhD schools and so on, where the presence of the industry partners is, of course, um, making them present in the minds of the participants of our events, uh, like today also, and uh, this is also an advantage of uh, being at the chair, obviously. Next one, neutral ground for exchange. We heard it also already in the testimonials. When you're working at the chair and you're one company, it's a, a super easy way of engaging with another company, finding out, okay, we have this problem, can we openly discuss it in the, uh, in the surrounding of the chair? And, ah, uh, yeah, you're looking into that, or we also have a need, or we're also looking into that, could we maybe partner in that area afterwards? And this, of course, also something that is interesting, being such an incubator of uh, future collaborations also between the uh, industry partners. Then um, the next item that is highly related to this neutral ground is our experimentation platform. So we have some uh, cyber physical exper an ex cyber physical experimentation platform with some uh, robot arms that are controlled by industrial controllers, programmable logic controllers, and they are connected to an Airbus cyber range. So Nicolas was already talking about it, which enables us to have hybrid settings between physical installations and also virtualized installations and this is um, very exciting because it enables us to instantiate various scenarios and do experimentation with it and from February on we'll also have a dedicated <coughs> research engineer for working on that platform and that is uh, definitely something interesting and the highlight of what I just said is really the cyber physical part because it enables us not only to emulate or simulate parts but really to also um, manage having the ground truth through the physical equipment, plus also allows us to do research in physical manipulation of something and also seeing the physical effects of attacks on um, industrial infrastructures. The next one is uh, a French uh, thing, which is uh, in France we have the lucky situation that uh, companies that are funding research get uh, tax benefits from it, which is a non-negligible uh, relevant issue as well. And uh, the last point that I put here is the additional visibility, because as you see with events like today, um, we put the partners to the, to the front, and uh, therefore, yeah, this is uh, also an important factor that, uh, that we offer at, uh, at our chair. And uh, yeah, this is the picture from the last research update. Uh, so this is a part of the team, and uh, as you see, nobody's crying, so uh, that indicates that it might be not the, not the worst uh, environment to work in. Okay, so to use the remaining one and a half minutes, so in the, now we'll have the half, a half a minute coffee break, and then afterwards, the second session will be on the research, and uh, in that one, uh, we'll have the 90 seconds per PhD student, and before I was just showing you that one here, but now I can uh, go a little bit more into detail. So uh, these are the topics. Um, they are structured by axis. So we'll start by software defined security for network virtual function virtualization. Then we have security risk optimization for learning on data heterogeneous quality, digital twins, code ledger. We are already federated learning. Collaborative approaches to cybersecurity, security for mobile infrastructures, and then the last part will be on the interfaces and uh, how we use them for professional uh, cybersecurity uh, operations. And uh, yeah, as I said, uh, now we heard the industry partners so here put some of the critical infrastructures uh, that uh, have to be considered when we talk about cybersecurity. And at the chair, luckily, we're already covering um, quite a range. Um, what we're not covering at the moment is the health sector, for instance, so we only said it at the beginning, so this would definitely be something interesting also to cover. Um, but in addition, we're really open uh, to additional um, partners, getting in contact with them, discussing with our partners if it makes sense to add them <coughs> to the chair. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed the first part of the session. I hope to see many of you in the second part and we'll reconvene at 11 o'clock in this room. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon.